Kelvo, your boy Cole CV right here, AKA uh, Chef V, you know what it is. So I uh, told you guys, you know, I'll be back uh, doing some things here. We're gonna be chopping it up, you know, uh, cooking while I talk to you guys. Uh, some of you guys know, watched the videos before. I did some uh, videos with my carnal, uh, Big Herc, uh, fresh out spreads. Uh, <clears throat> get under uh, Chef V, so we're doing Cosi V now. Uh, today we're gonna uh, make some uh, breakfast burritos. All right, the sanchichas. Uh, sanchicha, huevo, queso, aguacate, avocado for those who don't know. Um, well, I'm drinking my cafecito, you know what I'm saying? Good morning. Gangster shit too, all right? Don't clown. My little girl's cup, she gave it to daddy. Yeah, I'm a father. Last time, you, uh, Chef I don't think uh, I had my daughter yet. Last time when uh, we were doing uh, Chef uh spreads fresh out. <clears throat> Anyhow, we're going to uh, touch a bit on racism today since all this crazy shit going on out there. But just talk to you guys, you know, chop it up while, uh, while I hook up some breakfast. You know what I eat? And also, uh, back... Those those times when we're doing uh, the spreads, we're doing what we used to cook in there. <clears throat> and I noticed that sometimes, you guys, some of the people were like, "Oh, you ain't in, in prison, you know? Why you cooking that food?" Because people, we were showing people how we cook in there. Am I in prison? No, duh, we're out here. So, but you always got them people just, you know, saying some weird ass shit. I don't know why, but. Um, Sometimes when these videos, I'll be cooking, you know, things like that to show you guys how we do it. So, show you guys how we used to heat up the food, all that stuff. I'll get into all the details. Um, and the things that I eat out here now, you know, some are healthy, some are not. You know, we're gonna get a health trip later on because I, I'm just gonna do that. But um, so it ain't always gonna be that. It ain't always gonna be, you know, cooking uh, me cooking. It might be me eating out somewhere. I don't know, but. CV, uh cooking up controversy all right so I'll be talking to you guys while while I cook so just keep that in mind um, won't be in looking at the camera the whole time and stuff like that so anyhow so we'll focus on uh, racism and what's been going on a lot of you guys know that um, I've been in the, in the system right so <clears throat> I call it your college because why because I, I educated myself in there and decided to you know partake in any of the other stuff regular stuff the inmates do so I figure if I'm gonna do time I'm, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do my time not their time you know so <clears throat> I educated myself a bit I read you know studied did some stuff to set myself up you know for the future and stuff so kind of prepared myself so that's why I call it college okay so, of course, everybody knows. That's why I met my carnal Big Herc, you know what I mean? Um, but, again, we're going to focus on racism. You guys see what I'm doing? You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm putting... See that? That's Monteca from the bacon that I cook. So, I don't go buy oil and all that stuff. I use that as a healthy no. Of course not. But I cook with it, you know what I mean? But, anyhow. I don't do the spray. Sometimes I do it. You know what I mean? Don't don't judge me. But sometimes I do it. <clears throat> Anyhow, racism. You know what's going on today? A lot of people being lazy. They don't like looking up shit. So we'll focus on the BLM movement, okay? Um, uh, Black Lives Matter. So real quick, I'll just tell you guys that movement to me, the people doing it and everything, okay? That you're in it, I I get it. All the looting and all that stuff, I don't I don't condone none of that shit. But um, who created BLM? Well, these two women, right? So I'm gonna tell you one thing. One, look up who the owners are, or who you know who founded that. And uh, two, look up the dude who funded that. Three, look up that dude and see what, what you know comes out of uh, that research. I guarantee you it's not gonna be nothing good. 
but I don't even tell you guys his his ethnicity or nothing, but just look it up. Quit being lazy. I mean, you guys are on Facebook and Instagram all day long anyways. So you might as well look up some stuff. You know, do yourself a favor. By the way, you hear that? I'm cooking up the salchichas. And it's not just your regular salchichas, right? This is the weenies with cheese in them. <laughs> don't mess around. So, anyhow. <clears throat> Why, why is, that, is that moving so strong? Why, you know, why is it always blasting on media? For one, you know, these people, they own the media. So they just put out there whatever benefits them, right? So just, just know that. Whatever gets the rates up. Cause you know, they like cheese me. They like that shit. So what are they doing right now? They're doing the same thing they used to do in the system. They separate us as a whole. Because together, unity, we're strong together. But right now, this dude who funded this BLM gave him some power, you know, with some, some money. And, uh, cooking up, putting two eggs in here. Mix it all up. Mix it up like them, but anyhow, Put that together because <clears throat> they're giving, they're giving all the morenos. I don't like to say blacks or whites. I'd say huevos or morenos. Okay. I don't have an ounce in me of, of racial. I don't. I think that's just dumb. It's weak-minded. If if you if you're racist at all, you got that small of a brain, that small of a mind. Okay. So for you to think that you're better than someone or or you're different than, than someone, we all think alike. We all are, we all pump red blood, man. So, we just got different pigmentation. But there's people out there that seem to think they're better than the other because of their race. Fucking crazy, right? But anyhow, they give the BLM, they give BLM, you know, their own little movement, you know, and then what happens, the same thing in the system, okay? so. When you go in the system, we're going back to, to, to college now. You go to college, and uh, you when you go in and ask, where are you from? You know, meaning, you know, what where, what part of what state or what. It's, we're just going to keep it to California, okay? I'm going to give you guys an example. You're from California, you're Mexican, you go in. <clears throat> and uh, if you're from SoCal, you know, you're Sureño. If you're from NorCal, you're Norteño. Um, if you have Mexican scent, you don't want to, you know, be in those groups, whatever, they put you with the paisas. You know, which paisas is, is the deepest car in there, they always is, because there's a lot. You know, um, you know, if you're, if you're a Moreno, then, you know, you got your other cars. You got Bay Car, Crip, Bloods, whatever. You got the Muslims, you know, too. That's a, a different thing. I don't think that's so much of a car religion, but, um, so, you know, they ask you, you know, where you're from. So you gotta tell them. Now, let's just say you, you don't, you don't know, you know. Well, shoot, I'm from, uh, you know, I'm, I'm from LA, you know, or I'm from uh, San Jose or whatever. And you really, you didn't even bang in the streets or nothing like that. So I say, okay, well, you're from LA. You're, 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 no, you're a Sureño. You roll with the Sureños, they put you with Sureños. They automatically classify you. Then you gotta go out and deal with them. You know, they hit you up, where you from, wah wah, you know, check your paperwork, whatever. But the thing is, they threw you out there like that. Now, I'm talking about the system, okay? And I'm only gonna speak on the, the federal system because I've been in the in the federal system, not, not the state, but you know, they're all the same. These guys play the same game and they control the masses. This is why they separate you guys. Because well, they separate us. Same thing's happening out here. It's because there's too many Mexicans in there. If they all rolled in one car, it'd be dangerous. If all the Morenos rolled in one car, it'd be dangerous. If all the Huelos rolled in one car, instead of having, you know, <clears throat> Nazi lowriders and, you know, all these other cars within that race, then it'd be dangerous. Now, if all the inmates were just inmates, 
and there was no segregation, there was no, you know, separating people, imagine how powerful that would be. They wouldn't be able to control us. They wouldn't be able to control us. The warden, they, we, we would run that institution. So, um, why do I say this is because it's the same thing that's happening out here. So now, in there, if something goes down and it's between the, uh, I'm mixing it all up in here. See that? If it, if it goes down in there, and you got um the, let's say just a Moreno and a Well get down. Now there's two cars going at it. You know, the Morenos and the, and the Wells. There's two races going at it. Why the Mexicans and the, you know, Asians, all them, they chill out. They're eating popcorn watching, but they're keeping through to make sure nothing, nothing happens, you know? And um, so the system, they only have to deal with those two cars, right? So they, they're gonna, you know, probably deal with them and say, okay, what do you guys want? They didn't gotta deal with everybody else. And it's not against them. It's amongst the races only. It's only, be, this is a problem between the Morenos and the, and the Widows. Okay? It's not the inmates against the, 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 the system. So, what they do, they only got to deal with them too. And they already know, you know, they you know, they fight, they do whatever, they calm down. <laughs> and uh, they come to an agreement with them, whatever it is, you know, they want. If, if they were fighting over a TV room, okay, what do you guys want? And they help them come to an agreement. And at the end, they, they, they make it feel like they gave you that. They make you feel like um, they helped you out. You know what I mean? And, and in reality, they're the ones that separated you. Same shit that's going on out here. So, it's a mind game. They fuck you, man, and you don't even know it. They're wide open with your eyes, glued on the TV. You know, they fuck you just like that, but... Um, so, what happens is, is they can control you guys better like that. So, you know, it, let's say if it was a whole movement between the inmates. And we all shut it down. You know, I've seen this a few times. Is when they give us bad food or, or they do something like that that, that affects us. Um, they ain't giving, giving us enough yard time or they're fucking off something that we already get. Let's say hamburger Wednesdays or whatever. And we get hamburgers every Wednesday and they've been taken away for that three Wednesdays. We shut it down. And it hurts them. And let me tell you why. Because in the system, they pay the inmates five, seven dollars. Eight dollars a month, a month to work. And every system, they have contracts with the government, just like the state has contracts with the government. Okay, and they have to fulfill those contracts. So, guess what? Who's fucked? Not us. We'll sit in a cell until they give us what we want. Okay, there because if we fuck, if if they don't fulfill their contracts, they're fucked, not us, right? So they start, you know, telling us, hey, so what do you want, you know, all this, so we get what we want. Now, we're going to not say, oh, we want freedom. Come on, just, we got to be real with it. We'll get what they took from us and some, okay? Why? Because we all stuck together. And they were getting called from the big guys, what's going on? You guys ain't doing the contract. What I mean by contracts, the license plates, um, the Humvees that we use, to fight overseas, they're, they're repaired, they're fixed right there. They, they, we make the certain parts in the federal system for them. So if we stop making that, guess what? Where are they gonna roll in? Where are they gonna roll in? So they have to fulfill those contracts. It's the same thing out there. Let's just say we all sat it down. Not them, they don't tell us when to sit it down. They don't tell us when to sit, we do it. So let's just say we all lined up at the polls, November 2nd, November 3rd, whatever. And we all sat out there, just millions of us. And we just sat out there and said, we're not even gonna vote until until you guys do something like right now. Just the same way we do in the system. Can you imagine how powerful that would be? <sighs> Forget about it. That's crazy. I, was, yeah, I use queso fresco right here. This cheese is a bomb. And you notice I cr crumbled it up. You can crumble this up or do it in slices. But I did it when I was, I melted it in the, in the pot there. You get queso fresco anywhere the Mexican aisle or any store, well not just any store, but it's round. Queso fresco, the bomb. 
And you know I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna heat up a tortilla too. And I'm gonna wrap this whole thing up. Of course, low carb. Okay, like I said, later on, give me a hook if I just have these right now because I have them in my fridge. So I'm gonna you know, heat it up. I heat it up in the same pan that I uh, cook my food in. So I don't have to get the kumal out. In case you guys don't know what a, for those of you who don't know what a kumal is, I'm gonna show you. You ain't, you ain't Mexican if you don't have a comal. Or real Mexican. See this? <laughs> if you ain't got that in your house or you, if someone claims that they're uh, Mexicano, if they don't have this, they ain't real Mexican. <sighs> Anyhow, pino tortilla. I'm gonna throw the avocado in it, the aguacate, and then the chile. Again, if you don't have this, my lady makes this stuff. Damn. Ridiculous. That's the flavor. Ask me what's in that concoction, I don't know, but she gets down. Anyway, back to the racism. Imagine if we just all lined up and we just said, we ain't voting. We're here, but we ain't voting until you guys give us what we want you know, what's coming to us. Then it'd be dangerous. But see, they made up this BLM. And it's for the Morenos only. You see it, how other tries to join in, you know, whether he be a güero or be a Latino, whatever. And even the people themselves um, that are in BLM, oh, this is not your movement. You know, start, people start saying all lives matter. No, 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 this ain't about all lives matter. This is about BLM. And then the media plays that shit over and over and over again. To make you feel like you ain't part of that movement. Uh, this is only for the Morenos. They gave you something to be proud of. For you only. To separate you. Because if all of us got together. That dude that funded this whole program. Because that's his plan to control the masses. Him and his little buddies. You know stuck in their offices and shit. Coming up with these little plans. Years and years and years before they even hit. But um. If we did that. Forget about it. Then we get shit. But guess what? A lot of people ain't cut like that. And the system, you may have your fuck ups in there and everything, but you know, people hold it down, man. We shut it down and we get what we want when we all come together. You know what I mean? Sometimes they'll try to throw a little something out there. They'll, they'll talk to the OAs, which is the overalls of whatever cars, the guy that runs the, uh, the Morenos, the Hueros, the Norteños, the Sureños. And they say, hey, if you guys go out and work, we'll give you this. And then they'll threaten to take your job. Just like we're here. They'll threaten to take your job. One car gets out. That's all they need. And one car starts functioning. You know, a few hundred. That's all they need. And then they uh, go ahead and um, give them everything. And then those people that have jobs in Unicorn, especially the supervisors that were making 100 bucks, which, by the way, is a lot of money. In the system, you're balling if you're making a hundred bucks. They give you that. They work your ass 15 hours, 13 hours, whatever a day. And you know, that's their money. You know, they feel like a man. They're sending they're sending that money home at least to pay for for the electricity bill for their family at home. But they go in and knock on your door and say, Hey, if you don't come out and you don't function, you don't program, we're gonna take your job away. Do you really want that? Because they know who the managers are, they know who but they're the ones that gave them the jobs. And you got this other car that fucking buckled and they're out there, ha ha, he he he, you know, we're fucking programming and we're getting this, we're getting the whole yard to ourselves and we're getting extra food. They buckle, but the rest of us is, is locking it down. They just can't, they just can't give every, that one race everything. They can't control that whole prison. Because the moment they let everybody else out, guess what? Those people that buckled, then get dealt with by everybody. And it goes back to the OA. So, they threaten people. They take their job. They tell them, you know, if you don't come out, so and so, then you're going to lose this. So, guess what? If you all lay it down, if we all were laid, if we all were to lay it down, they would piss their pants. Unity is power. Unity is the only thing these fucks are scared of. That's it. But everybody's too small-minded 
to think of that, to hold hands with the Moreno, to hold hands with the Güero, to hold hands, you know, no Daniel, so, you know, a, a, a Mexican, hold hands with a uh, Mexican from Southern or Northern, all for the cause of the future and their kids. It just, they can't seem to get past that because you got these hard heads that, fuck that, you know, this, we don't do that. They did this to us, they did that to us. We don't think like them, they don't act like us. Okay, but if you have kids and you want the betterment in the future, why not? Why not? You like living in the now? Everything how it's functioning right now? Come on, man. You gotta make it better. We gotta make it better by uniting. Unity is power and racism is what separates us. The media pushes that shit. These videos they have out there when all this uh, BLM started and, and the Latinos started joining, okay? Correct me if I'm lying. Then they started putting these videos out there of these Morenos jumping these Mexicans that were they, they sell the ice cream, the elotes, the corn and all that stuff, that they were jumping them. They threw that out there, right? So that they caused friction between Latinos and Morenos because we were getting together for a moment. We are getting together for a moment. What happens, the media threw that out there. And then if you look at the comments, Morenos and, and Mexicans start arguing in the comments, you know, with each other. Oh, we've been slaves for so long. You guys don't know about this. Um, you know, that's just a, a few of them that, you know, that don't represent all of us. Okay, we know that. We know they don't represent all of us, but you can't, you got to look at the picture, man. These people are putting that out there to separate us. Because we're getting too strong at one moment. The whole BLM, BLM movement, which I hate who funded it, but the people have the right mind to get together. But looting all that, that shit don't, come on, man. Stop that shit. That shit don't do nothing. The only thing that does something is, is, is their votes. They care about their votes. They care about us getting together. They can't control us. They cannot control us if we get together. Racism separates everything. Okay, let's just remember that. So, I'm gonna wrap that up. So anyways, they're doing the whole thing just like, you know, um, out here like they did in the system. So again, just imagine if we all just sat it down that day, said, hey, we're gonna vote, but after you do something, coincidentally, you know, but coincidentally, uh, Donald Trump and his wife, the first lady, get COVID. Watch out for the twist, you know what I'm saying? But, like Kirk said, me and Kirk always text each other, man. Every time something happens, like we look at it differently than, than most people do. We ain't scared to do a little research, man. You shouldn't either. Especially if you got kids. Especially if you care about the future, man. I'm gonna take, have you guys look at this, look at this. I put the chili on there, the aguacate. For those of you who don't know how to roll a burrito, and normally I got we got someone recording here, but it's just me. So I'm gonna roll it here, tuck two ends together, bring it together, and you squish it, bam, go down. I'm gonna show you guys what this inside looks like. Chile, weenie with cheese, queso, aguacate. It's over. <sighs> Did I make it in prison? No. This is what I'm eating out here. Okay, so don't. Again. Let's give it a taste here, man. On um, point. All right, everybody, chopped it up. We talked. Come together, man. Come together. That's power, okay? Cosi V, signing off. See you guys next time. I'll give you all the information next time. Cosi V, uh, the Instagram, all that stuff, but stay up, man. We'll see you next time, all right? Much love.